Hey guys, so I am back with another video and I am super excited that I am able to make a video because I have been so busy with school and college and assignments and tests and work is just exhausting right now. And I finally just worked ahead and got all my stuff accomplished. So I am super pumped that I have downtime to make a video. And a lot of your part is like, oh, is she still doing this? Of course I'm still doing this. I wouldn't let you guys down like this. So, and I never would. So I'm doing this for like a long time. So be prepared. So I decided that I'd make a video about positivity because it is one of my favorites to talk about because I love positivity. I love being surrounded by happy people that lift me up and inspire me. So I'm definitely talking about the subject. And also, I feel like a lot of people right now are seeking towards negativity, especially since school's been starting. And I just feel like a lot of people are just like, oh, school starting, you know, I have to do homework, I have to do tests, I'm nothing, I'm going to be stressed out. But the thing is, it's hard, I get it. I mean, honestly, if you're going to think negative about the situation, you're, gonna, you're most likely going to get negativity. But if you think positively and be like, oh, this is going to be such a good year. I'm going to make new friends. I'm going to be surrounded by people that will lift me up and just be happy. You're most likely going to get that. I mean, it's all how you think about things and how you approach different situations. And also, I feel like a lot of people are going through things right now and they think, that, oh, I don't really know what to do about this. And I just feel like a lot of people are thinking bad. And I don't want people to think badly, you know? And I feel like a lot of people are having problems with their relationships or maybe just having negative thoughts, thoughts or just getting down on themselves because they don't know what to do or they have no, they just don't know what to do. And honestly, the best way I can answer that is to just think about what you want. Like what you truly, truly want. Because if you're, if you're in a situation where this person is just being negative and just arguing with you for just no reason. Or just saying, oh, you're this and this and this. Or just defining you. Or just, I don't know, just someone who is just bringing you down so much where you just can't take it. You have to think about what's best for you. And, that, and this could be with friendships. This could be with relationships. This can be with anything. If someone, and I get it. I mean, with relationships and friends, you're most likely going to fight. You're going to fight every once in a while. But if it's like a continuous thing and it happens so much, I just feel like maybe you should try to think positive about it. And maybe trying to be like, hey, you know, I don't really know what to do at this point and I feel like I need to just get away for a little bit. And honestly, I have I have done that many times in my life. I have just been surrounded with people and like in my last video like I explained I was surrounded by people that just weren't really the best for me at that time. And I got out of that situation and I started praying to God and I started seeing things positively. And it's changed my life so, so much. And I feel like a lot of people are just negative and getting more into negativity and just bad things. And honestly, everything happens for a reason. Don't force anything. Because if you're forcing something, if it's like a forceful relationship or a forceful friendship, and if you're trying so, so hard to try to make it work and that other person isn't putting in that effort and it is just bringing you down along with them, that's not healthy. The thing is with relationships and friendships, they're supposed to bring you up. They're supposed to be like, you're supposed to get pumped up for them and be like, yes, that is how you do it. They're supposed to guide you and they're supposed to make you better as a person and influence you and to just lift you up. They're not supposed to bring you down. So if you're in a situation like that and if someone is just bringing you down, just try and be nice about it and be like, hey, I just don't think this is the right 
time to just be in this situation. And maybe maybe along the way or in the future, you guys could get back together and be friends again. But I just feel like a lot of people are in situations where it's not good for them. And they're just so scared to just open up and be honest with that person. And the thing is, with me, sometimes you've got to be selfish. And I know it's just so weird and to say that because it's even weird for me because I'm probably like the least selfish person. I've always sacrificed everything for other people. And sometimes you just got to do things for yourself and see what is best for you. Because if you keep doing things for others, I realized I've done so many things for other people to the point where they just, they just take me for granted. They really, really do. And some people are so blessed to have me in their life. And I appreciate that so much because I love you guys so much. But the thing is, you can't just let people walk all over you. You can't. You can't do that. And you just have to think what's best for yourself. And just to do things that make you happy. With me, when I was going through things, I would draw and I would paint. And I would be with my family and surround myself with good positive people because trust me there's not a lot of people that are positive and you can always again in my last video you can always come to me if you guys need anything because I'd be there in a heartbeat it doesn't matter where we were at um in the past if we just didn't get along in the past I'm a brand new person now I literally don't have any grudges on anyone I don't hate anyone because I don't really like the word hate. I don't know why, but it's always, always bugged me, the word hate. I do not hate people. Yes, I have disliked people, but honestly, I don't really have a problem with anyone. And even though like we've had our differences and we've fought in the past, I still care for you and I still will always be there for you no matter what. And... It's hard to find positive people that would guide, that, that can help guide you. So if you guys need anything, if you're going through something um, right now, just please contact me because I can, I'll be there. Like I will be there in a heartbeat. So just please, please message me. And um, yeah, just please message me and contact me. And just don't let them do that to you, you know? And I totally understand um, how it can be so difficult to let someone go or just let go of a friendship. Trust me, I've done it so many times and it breaks my heart every single time. But the thing is, again, you gotta do what's best for you. And God is obviously helping you and strengthening you along the way. So especially if you're getting signs from God, if you're getting signs from your, from God, and just having like this really, really sickening feeling in your stomach, go with your gut always. Always, always, always go with your gut. And if you're just not happy, and if you're just like, wow, this person really is just not making me happy, um, please listen to that. Because God maybe is telling you something, and he's probably leading you towards something that's so much better and so much more positive and uplifting. So just always, always listen to God, especially if he's giving you signs, like really, really intense signs. Because I've always, I always get signs from him determining people and if I should let that person in my life or if I should not let that person in my life. So always, always go with your gut and always go through his understanding because he knows what's best for you and he is so amazing. I can I can go on all day talking about how amazing it is. He is. And just always just do what's best for you. And I know it's hard. And I know it's going to be difficult. But I promise you it's going to be so rewarding I in the end. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And that hopefully you got something out of this video. And if there's anything that I did not cover in the video, please let me know. And... I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that you think positive. I love you guys.